today. So sorry, I forgot to post the link to set the circle an hour back today. Uh, let me post it right now, the link. Sorry about that. Been crazy over here, Mati Revolution. Uh, hopefully we still get some people. I know on Thursdays we usually have a lot of people from uh, from London, from England. Uh, well, I should say the UK. And uh, cool, let's keep this going, guys. Again, I apologize for posting this link so late. Hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle. Mate life, man. Let me reply to people that want to join the circle. My man Jack. Here we go. Oh, my God. They started a circle. We're already in a circle. I got to join their circle now. I love that. They just started the circle. That's sick. I love it. Let me kill my circle then. What should I do? Should I kill my circle or not? Dude. Hey, man. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. That's all right, man. Were you guys having a circle? We were having a circle. Oh, that's so sick, We took man. over. We took I, over. I didn't know if I should join your <laughs> circle or, or if people were going to join this one. Well, no, we, didn't, we didn't know how to record it either, so this is good because we, we, we couldn't. We, I don't even think it was recording, so this is Oh, great. man, no. man. Thank you guys for starting the circle and doing your thing, man. Salud. Yeah. Salud. Exactly. What's going Salute. on, man? Yeah. You guys drinking up? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. I got your email, dude. I'll talk to you in a second uh, after this about the, your, about that, the gourds. Oh, okay, sweet. Cool. What's going on, guys? What's going on in the mate culture, man? Yeah, we um. Nice. Yeah, I was I was telling them that I was uh, when we first joined. I was like, I'm I'm drinking the Ascension Mate, and you're not even in the circle. It's I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> How's that Mate treating you, man? You like no, it? It's, yeah, it's really good. Uh, the uh, like I was saying, the 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 ratio of the you know the palace and the leaves. It's, it's a good blend. It's nice. Uh, yeah. In the middle, and it has a sweet aftertaste to it a little bit, so I, I enjoy it. It's really good. Yeah. The thing about the Paraguayan mate, it's very good. It's different. Uh, but you know, a lot of times I try to introduce people to the uh, to the Argentine mate because it's more yeah. traditional taste, and they may not be ready for the sort of sourness with the with the with the uh, stuff from Paraguay. But you know, I love the stuff from Paraguay. I think it's very you know, I like that sourness to it. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. I, uh, my, I have my, my, one of my friends uh, had him try it too. One of the ones I've been drinking mate with, and yeah, he he uh, he likes it a lot. So. Oh, nice good. man. Sweet, yeah. sweet. What are you guys drinking, man? James and Jack, what are you guys up to? What are you guys drinking today? Do you want to go first, uh, James? Yeah, I've got um Taragui. Nice. Uh, I got a sample package from Euroshop, so I got some different ones here. I got. Uh, oh, nice man. Is it Player Ditto? Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, pajarito, yeah. Yeah. Pajarito, yeah. that means uh, that means bird. In uh, I got um, no blazer gaucho as well. Ah, oh, that's cool, like dude. They do sample packages. I like that. Yeah, and Kraus, uh, mint and lemon one. So. Oh, okay. One. Yeah, I've tried that before. Kraus, the the the, yeah. the lemon one, the mint one. Sweet man. So I try those out and see how we get up. <laughs> oh yeah. What is like? Let me guess, man. You're drinking uh. A man? No, uh, Cruz? Cruz? Mm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yes, people at A. Dude, man, I love it's awesome. it. It's awesome stuff, man. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. I could only get the I could only get the stuff with without the stems, um, but it's still still wicked. It's still really good. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, um, I would, that stuff is really good, man. I love people at A. It's hard to get, though, in the, in the mm. States, at least. Yeah, there was, so there only seems to be one person... Based yeah. in the UK that sells it, and they don't seem to have very much of it. So I know, man. I know. I'm talking. I'm talking with the owners, man. I've been in talks with them, trying to help them get it to the states. So if I can get a hold of it, I'll, I'll help push it around the world. Did you guys see the last uh, Mate Circle? We spoke about uh, Mate versus tea versus coffee, and and if people still drink coffee. You guys still have any? Uh, you guys have any feedback on that? You guys also drink coffee and tea as well. Yeah, I drink tea all the time. <laughs> you said you drink like two liters of tea a day. Maybe more sometimes. Um, <laughs> depends. Depends on my day, really. So you drink like a liter of mate a day plus two liters of tea a day. 
Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I can drink more mate than that, but sometimes two liters of mate. Well, oh, so. nice, man. Yeah, Greg, what's going drinking. on, man? Salute. Yeah, hey, how's it going? Salute. How you doing? Where are you calling us from? Where are you joining the yeah. circuit from? I'm still here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Yes, yes. Yeah, re representing yeah, with the cowboy hat. Hell yeah, hey, we salute. got Mateo over here. Hi, Mateo. What's up? Hey. What's up, guys? <laughs> Join the circle, man. Yeah, I'm about to go do some work on my computer uh, at the bay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I got my mate in hand. I'm in here in spirit, guys. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. right. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, I just sent you a gore, didn't I, brother? Frank. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you just sent me one of the, uh, the uh, I believe it's one of the silicone ones. Yes. How's it, yeah. how's it treating you, man? You doing all right uh, with it? Yeah, well, actually, I haven't gotten it quite yet. Oh, uh, the silicone one. I just sent that. I just sent yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I think you sent it on Monday, and... Uh, I don't know, maybe arriving today. I haven't checked the mail. I think actually the mail probably comes uh, in about an hour. It's coming, brother. It's so, coming either today or tomorrow, man. What's, yeah. the, what's the mate scene over there? Are you the lone drinker? I'm the lone drinker here, man. <laughs> uh, I haven't met anybody here in Cheyenne. That I don't um, even know. Uh, there's a health food store, a couple of them nearby where I live, that sell uh, – one of them sells guayaki, mm -hmm. traditional, mm -hmm. and uh, eco teas. And uh, a couple of the flavored ones from uh, oh, wow. Well, now we got to get Circle but, of Drink uh, in there, man, of course. <laughs> yeah, man, totally. Uh, I could be your rep over here in Cheyenne. All right, dude, we'll talk, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 need, I need to find a Latino shop. I'm not sure there is one here in Cheyenne. So. All right. But I find one, you know, maybe they sell some mate, but I don't know of one. So I guess I'll have to ask around. Yeah, so what's everybody feeling about mate, man? You still staying energized off of mate? Still feeling creative off of it? Yeah. You know, or is, there, is everybody accustomed, too accustomed to it now to feel a, to feel the amazingness of it? We were saying in the last circle that, um, well, <laughs> our unofficial Dave-less circle, that uh, uh -huh. I, well, I was saying that I've kind of it sort of tunes me into whatever time of the day that I'm actually drinking it. So like. Ooh, a lot of background noise somewhere. Mm -hmm. If we, um, if we, if I drink it in the evening, it makes me feel relaxed. It makes me want to go to sleep. If I drink it in the morning, it makes me feel energized. So I think it's got definitely got something to do with the actual time of day and light as well. If it's you know the morning sun or if it's oh, yeah, sunset, sure. it's definitely sort of just acclimatizes you a lot more to the time of day. And and what's going good. on, Mateo? What's the deal? Uh, I had yeah. to, I had to join for a little bit, man. That's like too good. Of course, man. What's going on, man? What's going on, Mateo, in the state of Mate, the state of Mate right now? Oh, man, what isn't going on? You mm -hmm. know, there are things going on that are being said, and there are things going on with, inside all of us that we're still figuring out in regards to Mate and everything else, you know? Of course, man. Yeah. Of course. I, I love talking about the paradox. The paradox, I call it, of Mate being able to wake you up as well as it being able to help you go to sleep. So Mate increases REM and increases the, the deep sort of sleeping. But at the same time, it wakes you the hell up when you wake up in the morning. So what is that about? You know, I call it an adaptogen. It adapts to your body. You know, that's what an adaptogen does. And it's yeah. so hard for people to believe that. How can Mate do that? Yeah. yeah. Does that work for you too, Matt? Does it wake you up as well as put you to sleep? Yeah, well, that's what we, that's what we were talking about is that it really depends on, uh, you know, the... What's happening while you're drinking? I mean, it's like what I was saying. With if you're drinking it with a bunch of people and you're having a circle, then you'll be more kind of energized by it. But if you're drinking it by yourself, it's more of like a meditative kind of relaxing thing. So I think it depends on the circumstances, on what's happening, and that's going to change you know, how you feel when you're drinking it. Of course, of course, man. That's so cool. They come and I go. You feel that too, James? Yeah, definitely. It's, it just kind of adapts to your day, really. It sort of uses to your advantage. Of course, I mean, man. Drink it in the morning. Drink it in the evening. Just wakes you up. Tom, what's going on, man? Salute. What's up, no Tom? Salute. How's it going? It's been a long time, bro. How are you? Mateo's back in the circle. I'm back, man. I've been, you know, I've, I've missed the past couple circles because I've been in the city, you know, uh, especially on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And yep. today, you know, I was going to bounce to go to the bay, you know, where I make some of my videos and just do some work. But I saw there was just a lot of good energy. Of course, man. We're keeping this strong. Like, every week we've been doing it faithfully. I know. I've been watching. This is, like, what? Week? The fifth week, I think. I think this is week number five. It feels like yesterday we just started it. Yeah. Right, man, crazy, crazy. Tom, man, what about Mate? Does it wake you up as well as put you to sleep or just keeps you wired the whole day? Keeps me up all day. <laughs> <laughs> the days on end. 
<laughs> you can't sleep? <laughs> you know, honestly, uh, last time uh, I actually work a night shift, you know, so I'm, I'm up uh, all night graveyard, basically. So um, I just, I worked this morning until about, uh, I think I left work around 9.30 this morning. And uh, so this is like midnight or later, one o'clock in the morning, something, you know, two o'clock in the morning, real late for me. And uh, I felt energized when I started drinking it, but now I'm starting to get really tired. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think I think once we finish up with this circle, I'm just, you know, going to get ready for bed and hit the sack. Frank, where are, you, where are you coming from? Uh, I'm in uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Nice. That's awesome. Hell yeah, man. man. Like, the whole thing with Mate, my thing is, like, everybody has their circadian rhythm. You know, the rhythm where they go to sleep and they wake up. And I think that Mate just helps improve that rhythm. It doesn't it doesn't defeat that rhythm. So if you're tired, you know, and you really need sleep, then you're going to go to sleep, and Mate's going to help you go to sleep. But if you're awake and you just woke up and your circadian rhythm is beginning, then Mate's going to help bring you up. You know what I mean? That's my theory, of course, from my own experiences. Just drinking it. Marcelo, salud. What's, what's up? up what's up, man? I was getting my Hello. stuff ready. Hell yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> what's going on, man? Dude, is this the first circle you joined? Yeah, first time. Um, yeah, I mean, I had Google Plus before, but I never yeah. actually, like, messed around with it, man. Because so, you and I have been friends for, like, a year on Facebook, man, at least, talking about Mate. Yeah, man, I found, uh, like, a YouTube video. Like, I was, like, looking up some Mate stuff, and I was yeah. like, man, this American guy talking about Mate. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm from Argentina, and, like, they have some videos like on YouTube that are like really whack, you know, yeah. like people that you know they're not really. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, they're just saying anything, man. But uh, you know, I saw yours and I was like, man, this guy knows what he's talking about. You all know? right, all so, right, damn cool, like, man. And then I just looked you up on Facebook and I was like, man, you know, I saw your videos like about not only Monty but other stuff. And I was yeah. Like, you know. Sweet man, glad to have you joining the circle, brother. Yeah, likewise. Let me You're up in that Florida right now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm in Hollywood, so What's I'm like this right scene over there. People drinking mate? Um, I mean, mostly with my family, but um, you know, in Miami Beach, yeah, like on the beach, there are a lot of like Argentinian people, so you see it. Oh, sweet man, sweet. We were just talking about how mate could wake you up as well as put you to sleep. You know, if I drink it all day and I sleep like a baby, and I wake up like a little bird. You know, just I wake up chirping. So it's crazy how it does it. It's crazy, man. You feel the same way, or? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, sometimes when I'm up studying late, like, I'll drink it, and uh, it keeps me going. But then again, when, like, I'm really tired, like, I'm crashing, I can go to sleep without any, you know, any inconvenience. Oh, yeah, man. It's crazy because there's this drug in, in, a, in the – it's really popular in the United States. It's called Adderall. I don't take it. I've never taken it in my life. But a lot of kids are taking it. Like, their parents are even buying it for them illegally, like, just from drug dealers. And what it does is it basically – it's sort of like, I call it like a watered-down mate, and of course I've never had it, but based upon what people, people tell me about it, is that it helps you study, it helps keep you sharp, and it just helps keep you kind of like, damn, let me read more books, let me read more books. So I just told people about a mate recently at a cafe, and they were like, oh, I take Adderall, because it helps me study. I was like, dude, drink some mate, and let me know what you think. And they started drinking mate, and they're like, what the hell? I may not even need to take Adderall anymore. I saw them like a week later, so. Yeah, no, I, the same thing happened to me, man. When I went to West Virginia last year, you know, it's real interesting going down there uh, because a lot of people around there, you don't know about Mate, of course. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of places don't know about Mate. So I was shooting some guns up in the woods, and I broke out the Mate, and they're like, what's this, <laughs> you know? And I was like, I was like, oh, you know, it does this, it does that. But then when I was like, it helps you study, and I just threw out, it's the natural Adderall. That's when they really caught on because this was college students, you know. And I'm coming from graduating college recently where I'd say at least a third of people in college are doing Adderall, you know. Make like Adderall like it's candy. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So then when I'm like, oh, this is a natural Adderall, just try it once, you know. Then they're like, they try it, and then they're up all night. They're like, wow, this is some good stuff, you know. Yep. And it's legal, and it's healthy, and it heals your body. How could you lose? You know, you just can't lose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sweet. And so, like, all the people here, like, uh, are just like Facebook friends and stuff that uh, joined because of the Mate post, or what? Uh, yeah, we all kind of just uh, started. Like, uh, we all just got in touch with each other. I started this hangout about five weeks ago, yeah. and a lot of people I was friends with on Facebook, and we we said, hey, well, you know, we're gonna start coming together. I posted a link, and, I, and uh, my friend Bruno joined the first one. That was the first week. 
And the second week, people just came on, man. I think Matt came on and Jack came on, Joe came on, and it was just it just grew from there, man. Man, you're like the Johnny Appleseed of Monte, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying to spread it. You know, we're all trying to spread it. We're all trying to spread Monte. You know, because I think I don't. I, when I think of Monte lately, I've been thinking of Bob Marley. Why? Because Bob Marley was like, you know, he spoke about marijuana as being the healing of the nation. You know, and I still think that's true. But I also think that Monte is the healing of the nation now as well, because it's yeah. like, you know, it brings people together. It's beyond the actual herb. It's something that you share with other people, and it's like let's 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 come together, drink this drink this concoction, let's feel good, let's talk about good stuff, and how you know you can't lose, and it's healing our bodies at the same time to boot. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, like no, I agree a hundred percent, man. When I read your article on the Matihuana, yeah. yeah, right, is that the name? Yeah, uh, Matihuana. I was like, man, this guy's like right on point, man. Like you know, I kind of always thought that, but. You know, I didn't really share it with many people, yeah. but um, you know, that's like exactly it, man. Like, you know, I think they co they both complement each other, you know, really well. Oh yeah, totally, man. I, I don't know if everyone here is familiar with marijuana, and I don't want to offend anybody that doesn't do marijuana. Of course, you're either do it or don't. That's fine. But marijuana is the combination of drinking some really dope mate and smoking some, yeah. you know, dope marijuana, some weed. And then the synergistic effect, in my opinion, is an entirely different feeling than you would get from either one uh, consuming exclusively. And so I was like, you know what? Okay, let's call it Matewana. And surprisingly, I, I mean, I don't want to get arrested one day for it, but a lot of people started doing it, you know, after I started writing about it and, and telling me, like, holy shit, like, you know, so maybe the FDA is coming for, you, coming for me tomorrow, the DEA, I don't know. Hopefully not. <laughs> No, I well, I'm not worried. Marijuana is legal in, in the 45 percent of the states of, in, in the United States of America, anyway. So I'm not hey, too worried about it. As, as long as you're not as, as long as you're not dealing marijuana, you should be okay. Cause, yeah, you know, I'm not dealing it. I'm just dealing. <laughs> I'm just dealing. Uh, mafia. That's it. So. Yeah. Uh, do you know can't, you just go, can't you just go into shops over there and buy it anyway? That's the impression we get over here. Mm. Oh yeah. Dude. Yeah. Bodegas. Hell yeah. Bodegas. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> <I'm> big, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's going to happen? All the, all the places that sell marijuana, like in Canada, in California, what they're going to do is they're going to start to sell mate and it's going to be a combination. Um, so have mate right, yo, I got to go because I'm doing something right now, but I'm about to be at the bay in a little bit if you want to come by. Oh, he's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think that will catch on, bro? Right, in, uh, right. in well, California, anyway, I'm coming on here around. All right, peace. Matt, yeah, totally. Uh, I don't know if Matt could hear us. Matt, <laughs> what's up? What's up? I said, do you think it'll catch on <laughs> in California? Yeah, definitely. You wanna? Yeah. 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 All right, cool, man. Sweet, dude. I thought so because I know California is all about the mate, bro. It's all about it. It's all about the marijuana. Yeah. I say it's it's about both. It's about, it's about both. both, man. It's getting there. It's getting there, man. <laughs> Yeah. Especially, especially San Diego. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are very familiar with the uh, geo or uh, geography of uh, Wyoming and Colorado, but uh, Cheyenne is actually just about ten miles from the Colorado border, and um, I'm actually from Southern Colorado, and uh, now they have the uh, medical marijuana down there in Colorado, and uh, yeah, um, I've I don't I've never done marijuana. Uh, primarily because it's illegal, right. <laughs> but uh, I, I've had I've I've had plenty of offers, and uh, my job that I have now, you know, they could drug test me at any point. So yeah, dude, it's not necessary. You don't. It's not a necessary thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, you know, if 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 I wasn't at risk of being fired for you know drug test <laughs> coming up positive, I might try it. You yeah. know, but but. Uh, yeah, at this point. For now you got your mate. Yeah, yeah that's what I was going to say. Either I'm way you got mate, mate, man. Either way you got mate, yeah. man. You know, you <laughs> drink up. We drink up, man. Yeah. It's like, I don't know if you guys have experienced it, but did you ever, because you know me, I'm sharing mate so much, so much with people. I'm starting to see just over the past six months where people are, call me crazy, but are being healed by mate. For instance, I just gave mate, you know, uh, a couple times to someone, and they had a, like a pretty severe headache each time. Every time I gave it to them, it's like, boom, headache's gone. You know, when I was in Jamaica, I gave mate to someone who had inflammation in the arm. The next day, they're like, what happened? My inflammation's gone. So I'm starting to see, and I'm, I'm writing it all down, man. I'm keeping a database of it, you know, uh, to see where mate is, like, really, case by case, like, helping people 
You know, and I'm, we're, we all seem pretty healthy. We're all healthy people, so we may not be able to see it transforming us if we have it, like acute pain or something somewhere. But have you guys ever experienced that, like, with yourself personally and other people? Yeah. Oh, really? What happened, man? What, tell us. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I, I work a desk job, so, um, and I've worked the same job for almost nine years now. Just, and it's a night shift job, so just sitting at a desk for, you know. I actually work four nights a week, so it's you know ten plus hours, wow. and uh, I've never been a big exerciser and you know all that, and I've gotten pretty heavy, and I've actually lost thirty pounds since I started drinking mate. Wow! And um, it's not just it's not just uh, the mate drinking that's helped, but uh, I've changed my lifestyle a bit too. You know, I'm eating healthier, I'm exercising more, and um, there was a few weeks ago I took a long walk about four miles one morning. And um, it was near freezing, and I was wearing shorts and a T-shirt and a windbreaker and a hat, and that was it. And so um, I got really sore the next two days, and uh, I'm trying not to become dependent on mate, so I don't mm -hmm. drink mate all day, you know, every day. I, I usually only drink it three, four times a week, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I was purposely avoiding drinking mate for those couple of days. And then on the third day, I drink some mate. And man, I just felt so good, yes. and just the inflammation in my legs just kind of relaxed, and my muscles were relaxed, and the inflammation died down. There was still some, you know, pain and soreness, but it wasn't nearly as bad as it was before I drank the mate. And it, wow. yeah, it's just, it's amazing. Last last weekend I went for a walk, and uh, it wasn't quite as long a walk as the other one, but uh, about two miles or so, I think. And uh, I drank some mate while I was at the park and walked back, and I felt completely fine. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not the uh, I'm not in the best of shape, but the mate definitely helps me, uh, you know, with my exercise and diet, and makes me feel good, just all around good. Oh man, beautiful, yeah. beautiful man. Anybody else? Anyone else have any stories where they just you know mate helped them with an ailment or recover or lose weight or you know something? I find um, I do get like mild asthma symptoms. Mm -hmm. Like I get like short breaths and things if I'm running around or whatever. But um, I find it helps with that. Oh yeah. I, I think asthma. it's because of the theophylline in it. You know, the theophylline yeah. is a uh, it's actually an ingredient used in asthma uh, inhalers, and that's a part of uh, mate. So theoretically, that mate could be helping uh, with your asthma. You know. Definitely. I haven't had any symptoms since drinking it. So. Oh really? Yeah, I'm oh. drinking it. <laughs> that's 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 why it's the miracle plant, man. It's the miracle plant. Anybody else? Anybody else have any health uh, miracles with mate? <laughs> I got um. I, I I'm allergic to cats, and my dad uh, has cats uh, in New York. So when I go to his house, I always get like congested, and uh, you know my eyes get watery. Um, yeah. And I don't like to take medicine, right? I'm into like natural stuff, so I don't like to take. You know, unless I'm like really sick where I need it, I'll take like you know whatever uh, you know whatever I have to take. But I really try to avoid it to the last minute. And um, I usually have mate and I put a little cayenne pepper. Oh wow! Um, my my dad grows it, so you know he actually like you know grinds them up and whatever and keeps it in jars. So um, you know I put a little cayenne pepper in the mate because cayenne pepper helps with like decongestion. And uh, you know I have a few gourds to that man, and it always gets rid of whatever allergies I have. That's so, cool, you know. man. I might start telling people about that. Yeah, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> That's cool, man. I gotta really try that. And it's good for your throat too. Like, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, during the winter, especially in the north, you can put cayenne pepper and maybe a little honey, uh, you know, agave, whatever, something sweet that helps, like, uh, you know, soothe your throat. So you can do that, and you know, it goes really well. It tastes good, and you know, it, it usually works. So. That is sweet, man. I never heard of that. I never heard of that. Mate with cayenne pepper. Yeah, I, I mix different kind of things there. I mean, I usually drink it plain, but, you know, sometimes I'll do, like, uh, you know, maca. Uh, it doesn't taste well with maca because maca doesn't taste really good. But, you know, it is a, uh, it is also from the south, from Peru, uh, Argentina, mm -hmm. from that region. So I, I think that those, uh, they, they have really uh, energies that, that combine well together because right. of that reason. But uh, maca really helps, like, uh, your immune uh, immunity, and, uh, you know, it's got a lot of beneficial properties. I can't name them all because I don't know them, but, like, the Incas used to consume it, 
Um, and he gave them strength and uh, all of this. You can read all about it if you if you That's powerful, it. man. That's powerful. I was just reading a book uh, uh, that actually Mateo lent me. It was a book on uh, Mate. It was, it's probably the only – it's like a – it's a Taurus book written for – it's a book on Mate written for Taurus, and it's published in Buenos Aires. It's just a little 28-page book. And, but it has some good information in it. It's, it's in English. And uh, I read something that was really phenomenal. The, the Guarani, which you guys may know already, were the people who were drinking mate first. This, these were the tribes of South America, uh, between Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, that sort of area. And they revered mate so much that they actually had a god. They prayed to this god of mate. And every night they would pray to it and say, you know, thank you for this plant. And please let this plant always be available. You know, and it's just phenomenal that they were praying. They prayed to their deity of mate. So that was 400 years ago of documented history. Of course, that probably went back thousands of years ago before the documented history. So it's like when I think about mate and people ask me, like, is it really good for you? Is it really that good? What is this thing going on with her? I heard about cancer. The first thing that I go, I go back to is the Guadani revering this plant for thousands of years. You know what I mean? I trust the Guadani more than I trust, uh, you know, the pharmaceuticals. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I always go back to the Guarani, man, because these people revere this plant, and it feels it's just great. But sometimes I don't know. You guys may have heard this. Once in a while, you'll get someone being like, "No, nah, mate has caffeine. It's not good for you. How could it be good for you? It has caffeine." Have you guys ever had anyone come at you like that, like question you? Yeah. How did, yeah. So how did you react? How was your explanation to that, Matt? Uh, I mean, I would tell them it has, you know. It, People come into the tea shop and they'll ask like, "Oh yeah, matcha, yeah," because I'll, I'll I'll say you should have some whatever, and they'll ask about caffeine and it's I'll just you know tell them that the caffeine in the mate, it, I don't know what it does, but it acts differently than it would be in say a coffee or whatever else. It, yeah. it works with the with the with the mate differently than it would with a coffee bean or, or whatever. It doesn't you don't get that same uh, effect. Right. I think I think there's a lot of ignorance about. I'm, I don't, don't proclaim to be an expert, but there's a lot of ignorance about caffeine. I think people just assume that it works in one particular way, whatever way you consume yeah. it. And I, yeah. I think that's completely wrong. I mean, you know, as you say, mate has caffeine in it. Tea has caffeine in it. But they all all the all the different drinks, you know, make you feel different when you drink it. Even if you're drinking a particularly caffeinated tea or whatever, it's 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 completely yeah. different based on what other you know what? What else is in that plant? What else is in that herb or whatever? Right, so, right. so it's gonna act and, and yeah, with whatever's in there. Yeah, exactly. So, so you, mm. Right. So it's acting differently. We, I guess, we could all agree that the caffeine works somewhat differently in mate than in coffee. You know, coffee. You it's like it. it's like a restful alertness. It's a restful yeah. alertness. You're not like you know what I mean. And it's it's kind of like when I drink. Uh, have you ever had matcha? You know that Japanese course, green yeah, tea or they powder. powder. It's the yeah, same. Ceremony. It's the same kind of. It's kind of the same sort of uh, you know, restful alertness that you get. That has the most caffeine of any tea, and yet you don't feel all uh, when you drink it. You just kind of get a, a nice you know, alertness, and it's the exact same thing with the mate. Of course, man. Of course. Mateo, I know you've been uh, – have you gotten that question recently or not too much? <laughs> About what? Caffeine? About, uh, mate? People, when you explain mate, and, you, and does anyone ever ask how the caffeine acts in it? Are they going to get wired off of it? Um. Yeah. Sometimes, but the way I basically explain it, you know, is I just say a straight up fact. You know that I know is that mate has less caffeine than a normal amount of coffee. But the cocktail and the interaction between the other stimulants, like you mentioned, theophylline and theobromine, produces an effect that may give you more energy, but without a crash and without jitters. So you know, when when I'm telling people like that, they're like, "All right, let me try it out." And basically, you know, that's where I like it in part of the conversation where I stop speaking and they start drinking. And then they're like, this is some good stuff. All right. And I'm not going to crash afterwards. You know? Right. Um, yeah. But I would definitely, you know, have to go into some more research or whatever. Or just like mm -hmm. go and study more of the Guarani and what they were talking about. But I'm going to have to learn a lot of Spanish for that, of course. Of course, man. Of course. Um, totally. Uh, no, totally. It's like, uh, you know... I always tell people that yes, mate has caffeine. There's no doubt about it. I would never try to deny that. It's just a simple fact. It doesn't have matein in it. I think we could all rule that out. It, there's no. It, it hasn't. That there's no chemical called matein. Though <laughs> some companies refer to caffeine as matein. So in that regards, yes, it does exist, but it is caffeine. 
There's no, as far as science knows, I would say 95% of the science community has agreed that there is no such um, molecule known as matain. It just doesn't exist. I think uh, maybe. What I think that? maybe what I think maybe what the matain might be is you know the the combination. Yes. Yes, I've said yeah. that many times. Exactly, yeah. man. Yeah. Exactly. I agree. I agree, man. It's I think it's not, fair to call the combination matain. I think that's fair. Yeah. I think and so it, it's not just the caffeine that's the matain. It's the whole combination of it. You right. know, rather than saying, you know, there's caffeine and theobromine, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You could just call call the whole cocktail. You know, Matain. Of course. Totally agree. So. Yeah, that, but, um, that, that seems to make sense. <laughs> what, right. Quick quick shout out, guys. Uh, I got to go run. I'm actually going to go edit a Mate video at the Bay. I'll uh, post it up so you guys can check it out. Gave a little talk at a college. But I'm real honored to be drinking with you guys, and I'm happy that Dave set up these circles and that I can be a part of it with you all. Mateo, take it easy, Mateo. Salud. Shout out, guys. Drink on. Salute. I'm curious, what do you guys, what is like your sort of like, I don't want to call it a pitch, that sounds too businessy, but when, when you explain what is mate, when, what's your simple explanation? Is, what do you say? Do you say it's a tea? Do you say it's a drink? Do you say what? What do you guys, how do you guys explain it? Tom, we'll start from you and we'll walk over, we'll go over. Uh, Um, I think you might have froze. You there, brother? Are you froze? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. yeah. I say that it's like a tea, but um, a lot more potent, and um, it doesn't give you the jitter. It's like coffee, and it. Right. Right. Totally. And you got a good reaction state. from that, or? You didn't have to start putting your glasses. Yeah. Glasses. I don't know. Mixed. Mixed. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> uh huh. It's Matt, hard to how spell. Do you explain it, brother. <clears throat> um, I mean, I, I sometimes I'll say it's like a tea, but other times I, I usually just say that it's not. I just say it's its own thing, and uh, I don't know. I just say that kind of the restful alertness thing, like I was saying before, that it'll give you a restful alertness, and that unlike drinking tea or coffee, you'll it's it's more of like a way to connect with other people right. using using the drink. I, I I mean, you can connect with people using tea or coffee. I, I'm sure you could find a way, but the whole you know passing around and all that kind of thing is just uh. A drink that will, yeah, help you connect with others is, is kind of a way that I, you know, I like explain that. it to people. And a lot of people seem to, you know, to like that. They'll, they'll bring their friends or whatever to drink with them. So it's kind of like a cool way to hang out. Nice. I like that, man. It's interesting. It's, it, it piques their interest when you say it's something that helps you connect with other people. Right. Yeah. Right. People yeah. are always trying to connect, man. Marcelo, yeah. I know you grew up with Mate, bro. You grew up in uh, where? In uh, Argentina, uh, Buenos Aires, or where? What part? Yeah, I grew up in Buenos Aires, but I mean, I moved to the states when I was eight, so oh, okay. I pretty much grew up here. When I go there, they say I'm gringo. So, so uh, <laughs> some gringo. But, yeah, yeah I mean, you know, I'm fine with that, you know. But uh, <laughs> uh, you know, my my thing on it, uh, it, it depends, you know. If I want to give somebody like a quick explanation, I say it's like a tea, you know, pretty mm -hmm. much, because people look at it and they're like. What the hell is that? Does that get you high? Like they always say, does that get you high? Like always, they, they, always. It's like a, a pipe or something, you know. So always. that's always like the, the main um, comment that I get. Uh, but yeah, I, I tell them it's basically like a tea. If I want to give a more thorough explanation, um, you know, I kind of you know related to like the peace pipe that the Native mm -hmm. Americans smoke mm -hmm. because you know it kind of has that same uh, <clears throat> you know that same I guess kind of. Uh, uh, I'm short on words here. Like I, I vibe, that sort of same feeling to it, you know? Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, I mean, it, it, I just say it's basically a tea, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's pretty much it, you know? <laughs> exactly, man. No, I like that. It's quick and simple, and, and it seems like they, they <clears throat> grasp it, man. And uh, what, what about uh, you, James? How do you explain it? Um, I basically say it's like a medical drink, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> no. Medical yeah. drink. You just put it into a syringe and just inject it. Into your arm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like you're gonna see people like smacking their arm. <laughs> yeah, it's because um people look at it and they say, oh, is it some kind of drug? So yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stigma attached to it, but you know, you just kind of try and explain it the way that people would try it without you know jump to conclusions. Right. No, I like that because you know what? I mean, we all know that mate is a medicine as well. You know what I mean? I mean, if you look at, if you define a medicine as something that you consume that heals you, mate is a medicine. So, Medical it's not soup. so far fetched to, to say that to people. 
But uh, that's cool, man. I like that. It's different. Jack, what about you, bro? How do you explain it? I just I just tell people that it's a like a herbal. Uh, well, I sometimes say herbal tea, but I'll just say like a a South American herb, which is basically consumed in Argentina, Paraguay, um, Uruguay, like basically like we consume tea. And so I say, you know, it's it's shared in households, it's shared between friends as as a social, you know, on social occasions or you know as an everyday drink, just just like we consume, you know, like we put the kettle on and say, do you want a cup of tea? And that usually sort of gets it across to people, so they don't think it's completely weird. And if I haven't lost them by then. Then I then I might you know <laughs> talk a little bit about it as you know its properties, but usually usually in this country we don't get that far into the conversation. So uh. mm -hmm. I like that man, hell yeah. And Frank, what about you, bro? How do you explain it? Have you ever explained it to anyone? I'm not sure. Um, I've tried, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no nobody that I know um, has been really willing to try it. Um, mm -hmm. Other than I've kind of gotten my family to take a sip once. Yeah, and uh, I think part of the problem with that was it was it was in a natural gourd that was pretty well cured, and I think I might have had the water a little too hot, so it was very 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 bitter. And uh, the type of mate it was sort of a uh, mm -hmm. I was trying I was trying to blend different mates together to get a better flavor to it, but it didn't quite work out very well. So it it, it tasted my family described it as like grass. Oh really? You know, yeah. So uh, it was actually a mix of Echo Teas, uh, um, Mate Factor, and uh, Guayaki San Mateo, I think. Oh, you mixed them all? Yeah, I mixed them together oh, wow. to see what would happen, and uh, it didn't work out too well. I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened, but the blend of them just didn't have quite the synergy I was hoping for. But uh, they didn't like it at all, so. I, I haven't was, been I was, able to get them try again. Oh, I was wow. going to ask anybody if, if anybody else like blended mates at all. I, I I tend to only do it when I've got like a little bit of a bag of something and then maybe something yeah, else. Yeah, that's, that's the only time I mix it too when I have yeah. like you know a little bit left. Oh, yeah. you like yeah, you mix it. I've done that before, but I've done like uh, when I take the I never mixed it like just uh, like half and half. But sometimes when I'm scraping out the gourd, I'll leave a little bit in, and then I'll pour another brand in, and it'll kind of, the, the taste of the other one will be lingering, so there'll be a little mixture. But I think there's a lot of room for experimentation with mixing different mates, just like how wine is mixed. You know, uh, I never heard of anyone really doing it on like a large scale and talking about it. So personally, I never really did it and talked about it because I want to focus on each type and really get better at it, each type. But, uh, I think that there's a lot of potential, man, for diff mixing different mates, like taking gaucho cut, like say, like canarias, something really robust and, and strong, and then mixing it with something like, uh, like let's say, uh, Plajadito, which is a very, very like bland Argentine brand, uh, and, and mixing the two and see what happens. I don't know what happens. Yeah. It might make something amazing, you know. <clears throat> so yeah. I definitely think there's potential. I sometimes add the mint to my organic mate. Mm -hmm. Just like oh, you mixed fresh it? Mint. Yeah, fresh mint oh, leaves wow. in there. It's just helps the taste. It's really nice. Oh, sweet. Guys, take over the circle for a minute. I'm going to go get a hot water. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, actually, I need to do the same, actually. I'm out as well. <laughs> you guys are out? Jeez, oh, everybody's actually, out. Actually, let me ask you guys this, mind. then. What do you guys think we should talk about right. on the next meeting right. if, if we have another, uh, uh, like, a topic, a starter topic for the next circle? You guys have any suggestions? Um, has anyone tried cold mate? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure, man. I've been drinking that as well. That's, that's good. Matt, you have you had it, bro? You like yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah, I make it a little agave nectar, lemon juice yeah. in there, cold water. Yeah, yeah, it's good. good. In Paraguay, they love it, man. They love it, man. It's like the that's like the national drink of Paraguay today, cold mate. The, yeah, it's not. They're not so big on the hot mate like Argent Argentina. Is much more about the hot mate. And uh, uh, the people in Uruguay, the Uruguayan, so do they? Do they uh, in Uruguay? I mean, other than you're saying the cold, do they do they sweeten it or do they like it more? Oh no, it? Uruguay, no. dude, they're the most I would say uh, hardcore, really, uh, okay. mate drinkers. In my opinion, I mean, they they're very strict about. I mean, of course, there are some people in Uruguay yeah. who use sugar, but I would say the general population over there, they're just straight amargo, straight you know bitter. You know, uh, what do you think, uh, Marcel? Would you, you think that's true? 
Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, in Uruguay, they, uh, you know, they, they most most people drink it amargo. Like, you know, if you ask someone in Argentina, they'll say, "Oh, you drink um, mate amargo like the Uruguayans do." So it's like a, you know, it's like a common thing. But I, I, I like it amargo too. I, I mean, I, I one time got into the habit of using honey, uh, yeah. and I liked it for like you know a certain amount of time. But then I just got tired of it, and I went back to, uh, you know, unsweetened. That's it's the yeah. best way for me. Sure, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. My first year of drinking mate, I always had a, just a couple of drops of agave, man, because I wasn't too accustomed to the bitterness. But then one day, it was just one day. I remember that specific day. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just start drinking it amargo straight, you know, simarro. And ever since that day, I couldn't go back to the sugar. I didn't want to go back to the sugar. You know, I just yeah. wanted to drink it, you know, pure amargo. You know, uh, and I'm happy I did because it's be I I think it's better for you that way when. It, when there's nothing added to it. But of course, I always tell people, I'm like, listen, if it's too bitter, go ahead, get some honey, go ahead, get some brown organic sugar, you know, get something, whatever you need. Try not for it to be white sugar, of course, because that's really not that the best option, but, you know, add something to it. And some people do, and they get into it. But sometimes, and I hate to put like uh, Argentine girls on the spot, but there's many, many Argentine girls that live in like Buenos Aires that they love sugary 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 mate to the point where i'm oh, like oh yeah i can't mess with some of you girls man i can't mess with some of you because you put just too much sugar in it you know what i mean and they're like ah que rico que dulce you know they love it sweet i, don't, I just don't that's, know that's that's so true no because sure. all, the, all the people i know from argentina like um like one of these guys i know his wife when he makes it it's like sweet like just like oh my lord but you can't taste the leaves anymore you can't taste no the no but then i think yeah. that all of them drink it's all the ones that people i know from argentina they all seem to, to like it sweeter like i'll tell them i'm drinking the mate and they'll like and i'll be like oh yeah i got this new brand it's kind of bitter and they're like just add more sugar and i'm like ah, i don't know <laughs> they love the sugar dude they love the sugar dude they love i'm it. like ah i think i'm gonna have it uh, have it straight i'll have it straight <laughs> oh they love it bro they love it man i mean every country is different like in paraguay they like the Ted a day, you know, in uh, in Buenos Aires they love their sweet mate, but I would say in other parts of Argentina they're not so much about sweet; they're about amargo. You know, if you go to the north, you know, like the Misiones, they're not too big on the sweet. Or if you go to the south, like Mendoza or Patagonia, it's more bitter. And then, of course, Brazil and Uruguay they love their mate very uh, robust, like like chocolatey, like you know, like polvo, a lot of dust, a lot of powder, and they don't really like the stems too much. They take the stems out. And they just grind it up. So it's amazing to have different, uh, there's different philosophies. And what I noticed lately, I just started to recognize this. The days that I drink mate from all three countries, I feel even better. And I don't know, it's just my theory. I don't know what it is. But I think that if you could get mate from three different sources in your system on a regular basis, I think it has of a synergistic effect. Because if you think about it, you know, this one mate is grown in Argentina. This one mate is grown in Brazil and it's sucked up different nutrients and different, you know, chemicals. And then you bring it all together and it's like it just talks to each other. You know, the mate from Brazil is talking to the mate from Paraguay. The mate from Paraguay is talking to the mate from Argentina. And, of course, this is not – I don't have any scientific uh, basis for this to say that it's better that way. But for my own anecdotal uh, experimentation, the days that I've mixed the two – I feel even better, man, even greater. So I don't know. Maybe that's, that's something you guys should experiment with. That's cool. See, see if you can get a different effect. For sure, man, for sure. So uh, I got to actually go give a tasting, man. So I got to I gotta leave out of here. But uh, thank you guys for coming, man. You guys can feel free to continue on in the circle. But the recording, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it. And thank you guys so much for coming, man. Actually, let's say what's cool. up to this person who just jumped in, though. Let's see who it is once they come in. Who do we got? The Davine? Diviney? How do we pronounce that? Hello? Uh, hello? Anyone home? Can you hear me now? I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, who's this? Oh, oh that's you, Frank. It's actually uh, Kirill. I'm using my girlfriend's account, I guess. Oh, how's Great. it going? <laughs> Kirill? Yeah. Oh, Kirill, I know you, bro. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it going, man? Thanks for joining. What, how are you doing? Thanks for the gourd. I'm doing good. Uh, how's the gourd treating you? Great, great. Perfectly fine. I like. I love it. Nice, man. Nice. We're just talking about everything mate, uh, uh, how it makes us feel, how we approach people about it, uh, how do we explain it to people, you know? How do you, how do you explain mate to people? Oh. 
Um, it's magical. I start <laughs> off with a uh, with a tea thing, I guess. Um, a lot of people don't know it around here, I guess. <laughs> uh huh. Um, I haven't really been introducing it to anybody except for my girlfriend because I just got a gourd. <laughs> mm hmm. And I just got an order of Kraus too. Nice. Yeah. Organica. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get my camera working. Um, I'm actually going to sign out and come back in. Cool, cool, cool. If we don't catch you, we'll catch you on the next one, man. For sure. Because i got to bounce in a second. All right. <laughs> just to let everyone know, we're doing this. Uh, everyone probably knows the time already, but every uh, – I'm sorry for today. I was actually running a little late. But we're doing it every Tuesday at uh, 6.30 p.m. Eastern, and we're doing it every Thursday at – Three, we got three o'clock uh, uh, p.m. Eastern, so two times a week. You know, circles every week, two times a week. So please, guys, tell your friends, uh, let people know on Facebook. Like, once you join the circle, you can literally just take the link, as you guys know, and just drop it on your wall and get people to join. So you figure it's eight of us now who are like regulars who are coming every week. If we just told two people like, to get on board then we could, like, you know, triple the amount, you know, triple, quadruple the amount of people who come. And I think it's just going to blow up, man. We're just going to blow up, and we're going to have, like, a 100-man circle at one point eventually. You know, it's not stop. <laughs> cool, man. So Martin, think, can guys, Google Hangouts actually handle that? What was that, bro? I said, can Google Hangouts actually handle oh, 100 yeah, dude, people in one room? No, we'll have to do, though. We'll have to have, like, things that people are talking about and then get reactions from other people and then other people talk that's the only way we're going to be able to do it cuz otherwise it's going to be like you know what i mean but i think that we could pull it off as long as we have like things that we're talking about you know everybody else is muted out and then when somebody wants to react we we focus just on that one person and then they respond and then back and forth back and forth you know what i mean we have 10 circles going on at once Dude, we'll have like 50 <laughs> circles man and today we had like 10 viewers watching us at the same you know i could see the viewers right now so people are watching us while this is being recorded. So that's sick. See? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know you can what like on YouTube or something. Oh yeah, this is live right now. This is live. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's live and it's being recorded simultaneously. So after in like five minutes after this video is over, I'm gonna post this on Circle of Drink Facebook uh, page, and you guys could watch the video forever, man. It's 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 for it's for everyone. Cool, man. So guys, man, I can't thank you enough for keeping the fire, the Mate Circle going. You know, this is a revolution, really. It's a revolution, man. I mean, I hate to talk like that, but I think it is a revolution that's happening with Mate. And all we got to do is spread this one thing, man. Spread the gourd. Drink it traditionally. You know, uh, some Mate is better than no Mate in your body. So fine. If you don't want to mess with the gourd, then just get Mate in your body. But I think the best way to promote it, in my opinion, of course, is to get people drinking the gourd and to get people making the Mate and, you know, sharing it. So what do you... Dave, how how'd you get people? Like, I know you got to go, man, but really quick, yeah, like, sure. Uh, like, you go up to people and say, "Hey, you ever heard of Mate? Like, what wh what do you what do you say? Like, <laughs> dude, man, uh, it, I always have Mate on me, so it's like wherever I go, I always have an opportunity. So, for instance, if I'm in a cafe and I'm drinking some Mate, because I'll go to a cafe and just bring my own Mate, so drinking. Just <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> people are like, what are you? People will start staring at me. Just start staring. And I feel their energy, you know what I mean? I feel them looking at me. So then I'm like, all right, this is an opportunity. So I'm like, hey, how's it going? Like, for instance, th this is a real story. Three days ago, I sold Mate to a cop. I'll tell you how I did it. So I'm in a cafe, right? I'm in a cafe. The cop's looking at me. And I, I feel him looking at me. I'm drinking it traditionally out of the gourd. So I look up. I'm like, you know what? Do you want to know how you could catch the bad guys? He's like, what? Excuse me? I'm like, I'm going to tell you how you could catch the bad guys. He's like, how? Tell me. You see this stuff? You start drinking this stuff, and it's going to help you. It's going to help you think better, get sharper. And he's like, oh, wow. Uh, what is it? I, and I gave him a flyer. I always have flyers on me, like it's printout that I make. He started, uh, and then I actually, uh, I, I actually uh, had a cup. Because I always carry a little thermos of mate that's pre-made, uh, just in case somebody wants to try it out of a cup or something. They don't want to drink it traditionally at first. And I gave him a little, I poured him a little. He drank. He's like, "Oh man, I feel clearer. Wow." So he's like, "How do I get it?" And I had a pound on me as well, so I sold him a pound. And he's like, "All right, where do I get the gourd? I didn't have the gourds on me, so I told him to go to the website." And dude, we spoke for like 25 minutes, just about you know he works the night shift. He told me he needs energy at night, and he was asking me. If he's going to crash off of it, you know, just asking a lot of questions. And I just had him, dude. I didn't have to sell to him that hard. He was just happy. It was like he wanted something like that in his life. So based upon who I'm talking with, 
I'll tell different things. You know, if I'm talking with a doctor, someone who's a medical doctor, I'll get into the science. You know what I mean? I'll get into the, the study that was done in the University of Illinois in 2011 where, where Mate was killing uh, cancer cells. You know, that's a fact. Mate was yeah. literally killing cancer cells. If I'm talking to, like, some hate, sk uh, hippie skater, I'll be like, dude, man, you know, when you're skateboarding, you drink a mate, you're going to get more energy. You know, you're going to get more your recovery, you know. And he's like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. You know, if I'm talking to an artist, I'm going to say, dude, you're going to be able to paint better. You're going to be able to, to become a better painter. You know what I mean? But I never tell people, I'm very careful. I never tell people that mate cures anything. I don't want to take that responsibility to be like, listen, mate will cure you, so stop taking your pills. I don't, I don't tell people that, but I tell them that mate helps with almost everything. And, and I believe that that's, that's a very uh, fair statement for me to, uh, I think it helps with everything. So you're, just, you're I just, a mean I go pusher crazy. there. <laughs> yeah, like I just got a story back from someone. And remember, I don't tell people to stop taking their medication, but I've already gotten three stories back from people who were bipolar and they started to take mate, and some of them started to do mate wana, and they said, and two out of three of them are not taking their medicine anymore. So, hey, I, I don't know. I, maybe mate really is that amazing. It seems to be that amazing. You know what I mean? And these stories keep on coming in. And I'm going to publish them, too. Like in another you know, year or two, I'm just going to get a whole bunch of these stories, and publish them, and let the world just read them. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's just real. People are really telling me these stories. So, uh, guys... <laughs> Nice Thank one, man. Thank you so much, man. We're going to yeah. do this again. I'll catch yeah. you guys on Tuesday. I appreciate yeah. it. Salud. Salud. Salud, guys. Thanks, Keep man. on drinking, guys. Yeah. yeah. For sure, man. Have a good night. Later.